Hi, buddy. Hi. Answer the phone, buddy. Hello? I need to eat the phone. Oh. Hey, buddy. Hi, Uncle Drew. See, look at my new toy. Actually, let me, can you turn that around? All right, welcome to another edition of the Final Percent Podcast. Now, this one is a little new because we're actually standing on a floating dock that we had purchased for our last uh, retreat that we had at my house. And it was such a beautiful day. And, you know, we had gotten a workout in. And then, you know, there was some things that happened where we were just like, yeah, how do we just have some good downtime? And we, re we all remembered this dock and we were like, Let's blow it up and let's just kind of see what it was like. And honestly, it's way cooler than we thought it was going to be. So it's going to be a reoccurring thing in TFP if you come to a retreat at my house. Um, but we're going to make an announcement today. The announcement is I'm going to announce a new series on my YouTube channel. Now, if any of you had tried to look at what I've been up to on YouTube, you're, you're going to notice that all my videos got turned private and you, no one could see anything. The reason is, is we are redoing my entire YouTube channel. And the reason for that is it's kind of a hodgepodge of a bunch of random things and a bunch of, you know, things that I've done. And you can certainly kind of see what I've accomplished in, uh, as a speaker, because I, I am making progress and I, ha I am becoming, and, and there's that word, you know, you got to be before you can do, do before you can have. I'm becoming a speaker and you can see my progression, which is kind of fun. But the thing is that the channel wasn't intentional enough. And so what we want to do is we want to really, really organize this thing that we used to have that was much more chaotic. So we want to stop trying to scale chaos. Now I talk a lot about this idea in people's businesses because quite frankly, most people are looking for how fast can I go and I want to get bigger and I want to get faster and I want to get newer. But quite frankly, you cannot scale chaos. And most people, that's exactly what they're trying to do. So we're announcing a new thing that's gonna be coming out on my channel called My Life in 24 millimeters. And we went and got a vlogging camera with a 24 millimeter lens. And anytime I'm talking, anytime it's this conversational approach, anytime the things that I am trying to convey to you, it's gonna have a familiar format. And that is exactly what we are going to give to you is my life in 24 millimeters. And so with that being said, we're about to dock on my neighbor's uh, beach, uh, not intentionally, the wind is coming. If you can see, there's a storm brewing. So we're actually gonna cut this podcast and we're gonna be right back because we have some rowing to do. All right, so now we've realized with the wind, we need a little bit of help. Just like any community, any team, we're actually gonna show you two of, uh, two of our uh, engines that make this uh, merry-go-round, we got Mr. Drew Dugan. Let's go, baby. Let's go, boy. We got Mr. Owen, the man, the myth, the legend, Hickerson. We got Sallow, come on, man, you gotta, hey. And here's the thing, so my life at 24 millimeter, it's an idea that I had because the only way, and, and I, I'm stealing this from Steve Jobs. He had this little thing called an idea. He had this little thing called iTunes. And everyone said, dude, you're crazy. What the heck are you, what the heck are you gonna do? Uh, I mean, everyone just steals their music. They have the, the, the torrents and all of this different things. Why in the world are you gonna, you know, try to get people to buy music again? Try to get people to buy movies again? iTunes is never gonna make it. And Steve Jobs said something really, really interesting. He said, the only way to compete with free is to make it easy. 
So I'm taking a, a page out of that book because here's the thing. Content production got incredibly difficult for me and my team because what camera is it shot on? It could be a, one story over four different cameras and recorded uh, the audio on a completely separate device. So what we want to do is we want to be able to actually create content that is at a high enough level that it is worthy of TFP because remember TFP, the final percent, there's three pillars. We have personal development, technology, and entertainment. Because we're singers and we're musicians, we love gadgetry, and we are really, really on board with this personal growth thing. And so what we wanna do is we wanna be able to deliver content at a high level. So if I'm talking to you, if I'm, I'm, I'm doing my vlog, again, it's gonna be my life at 24 millimeters. Now we'll use some of that same content to create a more broad story or a bigger thing that also goes into some other series. But when I'm talking to you, it's gonna look a lot like this, my life at 24 millimeters. And again, guys, so if you're listening to this right now, cause this podcast is actually gonna come out today. Don't just run over to the YouTube channel because the videos are always gonna be delayed by a couple days. So just expect them to be, you know, a three or four day lag if we mention this. Not all podcasts are going to be uh, recorded on video, but when we mention it like this, just know at some point you're going to be able to see what we did. Now, I got this idea when Salo and I decided to ride our bikes literally over a mountain and we chronicled it and listening to the podcast, but Valfred, you know, did this really cool kind of B-roll edit thing that we did. And quite frankly, it was really fun to watch and it was much more immersive. That is actually going to be live today. So you can go watch the podcast of Salo and I going up over the mountain. Um, the other one that's going to be live today is the one that I did with me and Bob Snyder. And you're going to see B-roll of, you know, the, I was going to say lions, tigers, and bears, oh my, but no tigers, no bears. So, oh my. Uh, I, I, there are lions in the video, elephants in the video, but go check that one out because it's a, it's an immersive experience. That's going to give you an extension of what we're doing. So again, with this podcast, I just want to talk a little bit about the technology. We're using a Sony a7C, it stands for compact and compact is so that we can make it easy to create content. Now check this little thing. If you're, if you're looking again on YouTube, I have a mic on my chest, wireless mic so that, you know, again, we've got wind going. That's why these guys keep rolling us back over there. And, um, you can still hear me clearly. Um, so we're going to be talking about the technology that we use to create content easily. And I think that's the big thing that hangs up people is they want to create content, but what content do I use? Or sorry, what technology do I use? And I don't have the time to become an expert. I, I can't go to school. I can't take a class. I can't do this. So we're actually going to let you in behind the scenes. The reason why I chose the specific lens, 24 millimeter, is because it was the most compact lens I could find that could just stay on the lens. And it is a 2.8, which means it's pretty good at uh, in low light because the aperture can get big. We'll talk about that a little bit later as well. Not in this video, but as you subscribe to the final percent, you're going to learn more and more about technology. Um, but again, the reason why I chose 24 is I also have a much bigger lens that's still a 24, but it's what's called a 1.4. So it's extremely good in low light. That's what I'll be using when I'm indoors and doing different things. But it has the same focal length of this lens that I'm gonna have on me 90% of the time so it really looks similar. And I had this idea, you know, what if I just kept it easy for me so that I could actually get the content out because I'll be honest with you, I have so much content that never got out because we didn't edit it or we lost it or it was just too complicated or by the time we could put it out, it wasn't relevant. So speed is very important so we wanna be able to disseminate quickly. And so this is why we are just trying to explain to you what we are up to behind the scenes. So uh, I would say by the end of the month, we're going to really have a good cadence on when we're going to be uh, announcing things. Uh, certainly the vlog is not going to be daily. I have this thing called a life. And quite frankly, no one wants to see, you know, the 10,000th thing that I've eaten for food. Cause I mean, I know people do that, but it's not, it's not, it's not necessarily fun. Um, and sometimes I just want some me time where I'm not 
trying to constantly create a moment. One of our principles at The Final Percent is document, don't create. So we're gonna document what we're up to. And so I wanted to document, you know, us blowing up this freaking inflato raft and, and hanging out with some of my best friends and, and, and the technology that we're using to get certain things which I think could help other people out there who wanna get uh, out into the world. And if you have any questions on what we're using, why we're using it, or I'm sure there's a few trolls out there in, uh, in YouTube land, if you're a troll, I want you to comment just as much as everybody else because you're really, really fun to uh, read and it's like free entertainment. So if you're trolling, don't just troll past. I want you to leave a comment on, on why you hate certain things because you know maybe I actually can do it better. But while you're writing the comment, just remember no one ever built a statue of a critic. So criticize all you want, but just show me something that you have created as well. So if you're gonna challenge someone, if you're gonna do that, just don't do it to just start fights and create drama for no reason. But, you know, if you have something to say, then say it. But I wanted to just say that because now putting ourselves back on YouTube, I remember the first time I put something that I was singing and everyone said, Greg, you're doing this on auto-tune and you can't really sing. And wow, that's a great use of Melodyne. You know, everyone, everyone has something to say. So I'm trying to build a community here. And quite frankly, if you don't like what it is, ask questions or provide solutions or you know you know just try to be a part of the community even if it has like maybe a negative tone but just don't be mean to be mean um if that's the case then you know just unfollow or don't watch um but if you really want to troll don't hide let's have a conversation because i'd love to actually have a real dialogue with you so that we can figure out what's going on so anyway i know that's a little rambly uh but you know, I'm, I'm staring at some of the coolest people with a great backdrop. I'm literally floating on a, on a lake and just having fun. And we're documenting certain things that we're up to. So thank you so much. This has been the Final Percent Podcast. And stay tuned on the YouTube channel for my life at 24 millimeters. And we need to spin it because the pole handle's on the other side. So this is our floating dock. So cool. What? I'm going inside. The final percent.